when I was after the last episode, I was taking the man. What's it? I forgot, man. Like, yeah. Let me check. Thumbnail. That's it. <laughs> and I came here. Because it's just quite a lot of work I had to do. I mean, so big to try and fit it in. I couldn't fit nicely, see the whole thing. But I came up onto this rock and I found this drop pod. And if you haven't played, usually some drop pods you have to put items or power there. But then when you open it, it gives you a hard drive. Yeah, so different recipe, re recipes that we can pick from. Yeah, and something's in there. But you'll get like this little crash pod that you can help use to find. And you'll find a lot of resources next to you. So like here, modular frames, motors, don't have that yet. Then a whole bunch of plating. And you'll find enemies closer to it. Yeah. So. Oops. Let's go research this. So. It hasn't been that long. But. I'll give a break between this part and another little part. Yeah. So right now we've. Completed phase one of that. So. We can move on to phase two, but in order to do that, we have to collect items. And what better way? I mean, what's the one thing holding us back right now? It is our power. Because I could not deal with the amount of biomass burners we have. They, they annoy me. Oh, do we have power? No power. You see. <laughs> Why do you? Yeah, I hate them. So if I just hop up here, we can just research this to so go to hard drive and scan it. It will take a little bit of time, but yeah. Okay, so now on tier three, we want this. We have most of it, so this coal I found, some not too far, and this. Okay, we might have to watch the frames, might have to make uh, not too hard. Then, from, once we get that, we'll do the logistics, because then we can make better conveyor belts to power the steam, I mean, power the coal. So, I think I'm gonna let that white leech in. Let me just see if we even have enough resources. Because if we have close to that amount of resources, then I'm say that's one. And just by the looks of it. Oh, oh man. Let's check. Yeah. I Reinforced plates right now are just holding us back. But that's easy enough. We can just hook up, remember those, the quick wire. All those quick wire, we'll just hook that up. There's the wire. Okay. Let's go hook up the quick wire to one of the, to some of these um, awesome sinks. I'll get the power back up and running. Get a whole bunch more biomass, so defor I mean solid biofuel. So deforest a lot more deforestation. So I didn't I think I showed you guys how this works. But for anyone who forgot, it has an input and it does require power. It's just I have yes. 
this one. And I'll, for now, leave it. But this will go in to here. And then, oh, let me just sort out the power and I'll be back. So, okay, so after a little bit of time, I'm in power. King. Try it one more time. It's too much. Yeah. Man, <laughs> I have to split one of them. Just split. And this is why I would call power. Just so much better. Turn it on. Yes. Okay. Then everything should. Start working. If I check up here, yes. Oh, come on. I might have to shut down some machines because these are starting to gain tickets. I think I'm gonna shut down this. I'll shut down that one and that one. Now let's hope that works. Come on. Oh, come on. Here we're going to have to shut down another line. And that line goes to that second one. <laughs> On. On. Okay. We have one ticket. I think we have another two. Wait, no, we use game. Of course, we did. But. Anyways, so we're almost there with plates and things, but just I want to get the tickets going because then I can spend the tickets and buy um, reinforced plates instead of waiting for them to be made. So we should probably pause that things. So. Oh, yeah, so now we can choose. This I'm fine with, it's actually cheaper with screws and don't have to bring a copper line. Copper isn't too bad for crafting that. I think I'm going to choose that one. Because then it's... It's a bit more iron plates, but it's wires and not screws. Because, you know, yeah. Okay. So that's what we use those for. And good in between finds and power slugs. So actually... <laughs> I want to do that. Actually, I'll start that. Let me grab one of these. Oh. Let's, let's craft one of these up. And then, yeah. So, put me back. And now we can overclock production. Nice. Confirm. You just check. Let's hear him. Buildings can now be overclocked. Just research some stuff. Let's see. Confirm. Yes, then we've got better power stuff, but like that, you need plastic we haven't unlocked. Okay, two forms. Oh. So that means I can hook up more power things. Nice. Okay, so this is what I need for power. Small splitters, nice. Then that. Okay. But right now we want to work towards this coal power. Because there's no point in adding more machines and crafting new things if we can't even make coal. So pause you. Things would will start to back up a bit, but yeah, looks like here. 
Let me check. So that takes 13 minutes. That one. That, yeah, this is better. Makes 5 point something. That, yeah. That other one is so much better. And I mean, how close is the mix copper? Yeah. And down there. Perfect. So, I think I'm gonna have care bits, then we can get these reinforced iron plates, and from there we can see where we want to go. Because once we've unlocked coal, I believe, I didn't mark it now, but there was like, so there's coal there. I remember seeing some coal there, somewhere around there was coal, down here I saw, and of course there'll be more in funny places. Yeah, so I'm gonna wait for the platings to come through. I'm, I might set up another platform for those, and then we can move on to coal power. Just want to get power sorted. I can't with limiting stuff too much yeah so let's do this I had about 10 minutes of recording then my computer did something funny and the video got corrupted but basically what we did was we completed the stay phase 4 coal back at base and then I went on a hunt to find coal because we have, we had like two coal nodes there, a few over there, and then there was a chunk here which I came to look at. So like there, there's three, but it's quite far from the water. So I came closer and I found quite a few. So, if I quickly, there's a 60 line, I mean 230 coal miners there. That creates a 60 line, which gets split here 15 coal because it takes 15 coal per minute, and then the water pumps there. When each one makes 120, creates a 240 line, gets to a header tank, so I don't have to pump it up. And then they all each need 45, so it's only a 180, so we have extra. Same for here, but that's a 60 coal. 60 line and that's a 120 so we have the power now it's just we keep on going up and down up and down up and down which isn't good because we haven't got all of like like this one oh yeah so this line which is a 60 line it goes oh 30 30 you know yeah so it goes from there so that's 30 this is 30 now it goes but wait we need to split again 15 15 and then it's 7 8 8 7 like splits between that so we need that one to fill up then that one then these two should be running more consistently same with those the water it's fine. It should be fine. Yeah, we check. Oh, not consistent. Then yeah, it keeps on climbing, isn't dropping. Then the coal from those ones go there and that one. That's a 120 over there. So we can add it another extra four, eight, eight coal mines if necessary. Then same thing happens here with the coal. Just it's, these are slow belts because I don't want to spend too much on belts. Like it's kind of a waste. But yeah, so then this is going all the way then same thing is going to happen then for the water 
So we needed 180 and each one makes 120. So instead of putting 150, I just kept it at 120 because that extra bit, yeah, it's not going to be too much of a difference. So then there's pumps there, which pump that water up to there. And then that one pumps it all the way up to there. Then that's a header tank, so they all they keep pressure to anything below it, and so forth. And these we could always boost if necessary. And yeah, but it's fine. Yeah. So then these pipelines, yeah, they hold the three hundred. I uh, hear comes the first little bit of coal. Yes. For them. We, we could have built it closer there, but I like to have it here. It looks neater. And anyways, if we did make those, I can make this into one of them. Um, oh, yeah. This is actually a better way of doing it than like just having a 60 line and spreading it into 8 or 2 because it takes 15 per minute the call 15 per minute, yeah yeah, as you can see here our power keeps on like up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down and I believe as soon as we've got just some yeah, still got quite a bit of biofuel for now just keeping them up. So, what I'll do now is I'm just going to set it the. Oh, actually, let's take something from there and oh, too long. Add it to that. Just build a little box. So, in the coal that comes from here, this coal will go to this box, and then I'll just for now put these into like that one and that one and that one. Just try and fill it up so that we can try and keep a consistency because once they are all full, then it, things are going to run a bit nicer. So they make 45 watts each if I'm cheap. 75. Okay. So then we can do some math. 75 times by this 8, 600 power. Compared to we had like 6 or 7 burners. I believe it's low. It's like. How much? 30. So, oh, I thought it was 15 each. Ah, ooh, yeah. So then, I, if we do that, it's like 30 times by 7. Plus 40, we have 50 extra. Wait, no, we have 350 extra. Yeah, so you see now, this line's fully backed up. So now everything's going to go through there. And once there's a little bit there, then it'll go there. No more. This line will get busy and busy. Yeah, so I'm just going to do that with this extra coal and we can even set up um, next episode the steel here just having this new power I mean power system is really healthy we're going to be able to build a lot more buildings and having this extra line if we run out of any in, um, power we can just make a whole nother row of eight your full, your full, because then as soon as these are full, everything 
will be running smooth. And it's not gonna. So, I did learn the um, oh, overclocking. That's it. So, I can overclock things, and then, like now, I can make it 200%. So, I'll make 150, but then I need 30 coal per minute and 90 water per minute. And yeah, you understand that. So, just by having this, bugging a little bit. Um, yeah, perfect. Just having this extra power and being able to over, yeah, boost it. Oh, we can if we want to. Like, not necessarily right now. So here you can see that we're getting more coal going through because this line's not constantly needing, but it's still needs. So it's three there, then this takes, so it should be two, and then it splits off. So hopefully we can get it to be where it's one, 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 one. It takes one, it's three through, it takes one, it's two through, it takes one, it's one go. Yeah. Let's check how if I add to this line. Hopefully we can Yeah, this is just the hard part trying to make sure that you can supply enough. What I could do is just could add a merger here just to try and get it to overflow because if we overflow this then at least it's a bit safer and I don't have to worry about power will keep on dumping and we have a backup storage for these and then it will back up to the chicken yeah there so it hasn't actually yeah, it hasn't backed up there yet so I'm gonna do this just fix it then let's see what it's going to do when we hook up the rest of the base after some time just ignore that that's some mm -hmm. bug we finally have them all hooked up and they're making 600 per minute oh wait do I have what happens if I get rid of these oh it's still producing 600 per minute huh weird Capacity. Okay, but yeah. So now we've got the fun part. I just I'll keep that hooked on. Yeah. Now we need to get from point A to point B. If I remember correctly, yeah, there's a passage up there. Me. Nothing here. Mm -mm. But I was even recording. <laughs> yeah. So I I don't think I got this on video, man. So I um, I got these new poles using the Kateria. I mean, I might have shown it, but yeah. So they can hold more 
instead of just holding four they hold seven so it's quite nice you can hook up six things and still connect it out to another pole and it means it use Ethereum wire so I think it's actually a better option hey there's the space elevator okay there not actually sure how much wire do I have. Okay, I have more than enough. We had a then show things. Anyways. Yeah. So oh there's a small little link there. Nice. When I use when I played this and I would play it shall I say I always for some reason I just overclocked. I never calculated and worked out best way to do things which I'm very sad about because it's way more fun like I had 20 or 30 coal machines that were being powered by three not mean impure nodes and they were just well no five or so it was like 15 10, 10 or 15 coal mine and coal burners and then I've got these four mines and I overclocked it and oh, my power would just run out constantly it, it wasn't fun yeah. and I mean actually having it far I mean because mine was right by my base, it just made everything look ugly. So having it far, it's a bit nicer. Mm. Let's hope I did my calculation is correct. And we are producing more than we're consuming connect that up let's check yes Whew. we are producing 600 and we're consuming above just above 200 just want to check something this is good news. Everything works. Oh, I think we spent like quite a while on this episode. Caption of episode: Destroying this planet even more. Ay ay ay. So we can get rid of all of these and you and you and you and you lovely we are making 600 So nice to have a steady power consumption. I don't have to worry about it. That's what I like about the coal. You you don't have to worry about it. No output. Where the next one is fuel and that you have to pump then you can refine it or not and that just annoys me. And then the how after that uranium or nuclear creates nuclear waste and you have to make this whole big thing to refine it and that's when I gave up on my whole world because I just couldn't hmm. we explored the map quite a bit yeah so 
I think that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh yeah, I forgot to when the, the video that got corrupted, I got this coffee mug. So now I can just sit here and watch stuff while and drink. Mm. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye now.